I'm grateful that I had the eyes to see what an extraordinary person that Ali Fernay was, that I saw Ali's greatness of heart. In a time when almost no one treated homeless LGBT youth like their lives had any value, Ali did. Ali saw their value. Ali loved them. More than anything else, I wanted to keep Ali's memory alive. And I could think of no better way of doing that than to make sure that homeless LGBT youth were safe and protected the way Ali did. Over the past 18 years, we've been able to build the largest organization in the United States to protect and empower homeless LGBT youth. We've been able to assemble a really incredible, comprehensive array of services that can take a young person from the streets to a drop-in center, into housing. Soon we're gonna be able to house over 200 young people every night. We've been able to get more than $100 million invested into a historically disenfranchised population. We've been able to get the laws changed so that young people can stay in youth shelters until they turn 25, whereas before they would be kicked out on their 21st birthday. It's because in so many ways that I've been able to achieve my core goals and my core dreams that I feel that I'm able to step down. About a year ago, I began to discuss with our board of directors my wish to focus on different areas. I'm no longer going to be the director of the Ali Fernay Center, but I'm going to continue to fight to protect and empower LGBT young people, and I'm so grateful that they're giving me the opportunity to do that. As I realized that I wanted to transition into a new role at the Ali Fernay Center, the board of directors and I really came to an agreement about the best candidate being somebody from within, our Director of Development, Alex Roquet. He's done such an amazing job of working with me to build up the Ali Fernay Center over the last nine years, and it's been such a joy to see him grow into his role and grow as a leader in the organization. I have the utmost confidence in Alex's ability to carry this organization forward and to bring it to places that even I was not able to do. I think it's going to be an extraordinary new day for the Ali Fernay Center, and I am so grateful and excited to see where he brings the Ali Fernay Center in the years to come. The last thing I want to do is thank every single one of you who's helped make this dream a reality, who's helped build the Ali Fernay Center into the largest organization in the United States to protect and house and empower homeless LGBT youth. I thank all of you and I hope you will continue to walk with us into an exciting new day for the Ali Fernay Center.